Hi, this is Peter Jonas, and I'm a professor of research at Cardinal Streets University. I'm here to talk to you today about an interesting teaching pedagogy, a different way to teach, a way to hit the millennials, a way to talk to and a way to teach the students that are coming up in the classroom that actually love technology and use technology, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, all the time. It's called videogogy. Videogogy is a combination of using videos in your teaching pedagogy. And what you do is go find short little video clips, one minute, two minutes at the most, off of YouTube, Google search, whatever, and use the videos to implement your information, to, to emphasize the information, to really make a strong case. Because students love technology, because they use YouTube all the time, it actually is a great way for the brain to connect new learning to the information that they're getting. A good example of this would be, I have students actually go out and suggest videos themselves off of YouTube. And they need to be funny, because the funnier they are, the more students will be engaged and the more connected they will, they will be. Let me give you an example here. There's some things I hate about PowerPoint, and I figure it's kind of my duty to point them out. So here we go. Here's common PowerPoint mistakes. Uh, number one, uh, people tend to put every word they are going to say on their PowerPoint slides. Although this eliminates the need to memorize your talk, ultimately this makes your slides crowded, wordy, and boring. You will lose your audience's attention before you even reach the bottom of your uh, first slide. Please, please don't do that anymore, please. Uh, number two, most common, uh, many people do not run spell cheek. Big mistake. Nothing makes you look stupider than spelling errors. If it's got a red line under it, recheck the spelling! And then finally, I hate this, uh, avoid excessive bullet pointing, only bullet key points. Too many bullet points, and your key messages will not stand out. In fact, the term bullet point comes from people firing guns at annoying presenters. That example is a better way of teaching than me standing up there and saying this is how you teach PowerPoint. Having a short little video do it, and if, and if you can get students to suggest the videos, it's even the better. But then take a few minutes and talk about the video in class and connect the information to what you're teaching. So if you show a video in the classroom, students actually remember it 17% longer and 37% more effectively. Using a short, funny little video, video goji, works and students remember the information longer. It's great.